so you're joining me for today's tiki recipe which is the jet pilot this is on page 61 in smugglers cove it is a 1950s recipe it was taken from uh, beach bun berry sipping safari um yeah sipping safari it's been adapted by martin Kane for his book and his bar in there this cocktail okay i'm not going to give any games away you're gonna have to watch to the end of the video to see what i think of this cocktail but don't forget on sunday i kind of Sunday show is all about debunking this cocktail because when we've got rum blends it's like have I used the right rum have I used the right ingredient I've also got another replacement sugar syrup or flavored syrup coming out in Sunday's show to maybe tweak this recipe even more to give you more inspiration I and I'm just going to say I think it's one of the better cocktails I make I've made so far in this tiki journey but stay tuned to the end to see what I really think and see whether I've nailed the rums straight off. Let's dive in and make the cocktail. Right, let's look at the ingredients for the Jet Pilot. Uh, kind of broken down into two bits here. So let's go first off. Herbistoria, for me, what's Herbistoria? It's, it's in Spunkless Cove. It's essentially equal parts of aromatic bitters to like a, a perno and absinthe kind of vibe, an aniseed kind of vibe. So actually, why mine are slightly different colours? I actually use... Um, uh, Miss Betters Bitters Aromatic Bitters. So I've got slightly redder, but this is what I kind of try and labour the point and emphasise the point over and over again. Not all aromatic bitters are the same. Every brand's aromatic bitters are completely different. These will be different to Angostura, which will be different to Peshaws, which will be different to uh, one of the Fee Brothers. There are loads and loads of different aromatic bitters out there. you just got to find ones that fit you. I adore and use Miss Betters Bitters. For me, they're more tinkified than Angostura. Angostura is lovely, but these lean, for me, personally, more towards tiki. So this is literally 50% uh, Miss Betters Bitters with 50% of my Tarquin's Cornish Pastis. Cornish Pastis. Uh, pastis, per name, essentially. So that's my herb story. I've got cinnamon syrup there. I've got um, J.D. Taylor's Velvet for Learning. We've got pink grapefruit, fresh, squeezed, ready to go. Or juice, I should say, ready to go. I've got lime juice ready to go. Now, the rums. Even now, I'm still not overly convinced the rums I've picked for this are the right rums. And this is why I'm so, you know, I love Sunday's rum show now, debunking these cocktails, because I've already got my list straight away of what I would use instead just to kind of see how the cocktail fares. So tune in on Sunday to see me debunking this cocktail to see whether... You know, we can make it better whether I have picked the right rums. My theory behind it is, so we're, essentially we've got a black blended rum, category five, black blended. So I've gone skipper. Um, a blended aged rum, category three from Smuggler's Cove. So uh, again, Plantation Barbados, the five-year-old there. And then the last one is a black blended overproof, category six. Now again, you we've kind of got two rich rums in here. I would normally sort of go towards chairman's legacy and that now if i put chairman's legacy in there rich rum Leg chairman's legacy is a bit richer a bit more robust and a richer and robust so again is that the right kind of combination with the this is why i love doing these videos because there's so many different directions you can go down even within the smugglers cove categories now i potentially might go to making but i'm gonna make this just using these ingredients just to give me a loose kind of understanding of what this cocktail tastes like so we're going to flash blend this on the little spindle blender behind me literally five six seconds with a bit of ice let's go uh, let's go this way so lime juice 15 mil half an ounce of lime juice okay one five in there uh i might as well do grapefruit while i'm here i've gone pink grapefruit juice uh so 15 mil of pink grapefruit there one five if you've made this cocktail with yellow or white grapefruit juice, again, let us know. Let us know in the comments. Let me know should I be using that instead. So we've done the two juices. Cinnamon syrup, um, 15 mil, half an ounce of cinnamon. There we go. That should be lovely. I mean, at face value, this cocktail should be absolutely delicious. But as we know, the rums can make or break it. Um, so next ingredient, we've gone J.D. Taylor's or John D. Taylor's Velvet for Learning. 15 mil, one, five half an ounce in there now we're going for the rums and you know i 
I generally don't know. I, I, in my head, I'm thinking that I've got the wrong rums, but we shall find out. So, 30 mil of Skipper, black blended, 3-0. Okay. Right, there we go. 30 mil of Skipper, black blended, Demerara rum um, in there. Next one, blended aged category three in Smuggler's Cove, uh, 22 and a half mil, Plantation Barbados. Um, this will be kind of light. This this will be pretty much the the balancer of these rums. We've got rich and rich, and this is kind of the the lovely sort of tropical notes in between. So we've gone uh, 22 and a half mil of blended aged, and then we're going 22 and a half mil of blended black overproof. 22 and a half mil i've only really got two options of this behind here because we don't have hamilton and we don't have denison and we don't have what's the other one i'm thinking of i don't know um anyway i'm going to do a scoop of crushed ice and then we're going to blend it on the spindle blender behind us there we go literally that was probably closer to 10 seconds on the slow sort of spin there and i've just got that i'm just going to do shake and dump there that should be, by the time that's sort of frothed down, that should be perfect. Just going to top that up with a bit more crushed ice once that's settled. And then if I've got some lying around, it's not the best at the moment because it's a bit hot, but a sprig of mint. And that is my jet pilot. And I keep testing it, don't I? I've forgotten the Herbistory bitters. So I'm going to add two dashes of Herbistory bitters now. Just give that a little stir through totally missed that didn't i totally missed that but there we go no harm done right what does it taste like so all in not a bad cocktail i definitely get a herbis stories now that i've put them in and i, I remember just before i tasted it because i looked at them uh i get the cinnamon uh, i get a little bit of complex complexity is that a word from the rums I'm not overly convinced by the rums. At the moment, that cocktail is probably sitting at about a 7.5 out of 10 for me. It's delicious. I get the richness from the Demerara. I, what else is coming through? I get the lime, I get the grapefruit there. It's balanced, it's beautifully balanced. It is absolutely beautifully balanced because it's all punching out there. I, I'm intrigued. I'm not, I'm not, I'm going to sit on the fence at the moment. I'm not convinced that's the best I could have possibly made. I've got ideas of how I'm going to change it. You're going to have to tune in on Sunday to see what I do and whether I've used the right rums or whether I can make this any better. So I'll see you then.